All right. Okay, everybody's all set. Let's start with Munti Lupa City. Muntin Lupa City, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling very tired, but I'm very excited about this portion of the pageant. Now, would you say you're feeling nervous? I'd say yes. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but um, I think I can take it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll ace it. Go ahead. All right. Now, your question for tonight is, thank you so much for opening it. In your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? Once again, in your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? The role that outstanding sportsmanship does is, oh sorry, can I, can I just read the question again? Outstanding sportsmanship plays a role in both your everyday lives and sports. Um, to wherein we appreciate greatness and that Whenever, um, whenever you're faced with challenges, you can always, you can always look up to. The, sorry, I forgot the question. And in, in sports and your everyday life. In sports and everyday life. So in sports and everyday life. Um, sportsmanship plays a big role in the fact that we greatly respect uh, greatness in terms of any craft that is, whether it is sports or whether it is in art such as pageants. Um, we should be able to appreciate these people because we can learn from them. So thank you. Thank you so much. That's our first finalist to experience question and answer portion. Mr. Montilupa City, everybody. Up next, we have Mr. Nueva Ecija. Good evening, brother. Are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay. Pick your question from the bowl. And could you open it for us? All right. Question. In the face of adversity, how do you exhibit outstanding sportsmanship and inspire others to do the same? I, I believe that in the face of adversity, we can, we can exhibit outstanding sportsmanship by instilling respect, love, and, and compassion and also integrity in ourselves. And in that way, I believe that we can inspire and influence other people to do the same thing. Thank you. Thank you so much, you Mr. So much. Nueva Ecija. Up next, we have San Fernando Pampanga. Good evening, brother. How are, you, how are you feeling tonight? What's going on with your mind? I'm excited to represent the Philippines on an international level. Wow! Talk about confidence, ladies and gentlemen. If that's how you feel, go, go ahead and pick a question from the bowl. From the mysterious bowl we have. Indeed. <laughs> the... Your question for tonight is... What unique qualities and experiences do you possess 
that make you deserving of the title of Mr. Grand Philippines? Once again, what unique qualities and experiences do you possess that make you deserving of the title of Mr. Grand Philippines? I feel that the traits that I encompass being a possible Mr. Grand Philippines winner is the fact that I have the humility and decency to understand and learn. Coming from an international upbringing, I've started to understand that proper communication throughout the world and each other, especially with those that we hate and love, that we, if we all connect together, we can all create a world that is united and champion a great and proud future for the Philippines and the world. Thank you. There you have it. That's Mr. San Fernando Pampanga, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, let's have Mr. Bulacan. Come on right up. Mr. Bulacan, how are you feeling tonight? Making it this far into the competition. Um, honestly, I'm tired, but also excited. That's good to know. Are you ready for your question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's true. Okay. All right, Mr. Bulacan, your question for tonight is, in recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Once again, in recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Um, um, thank you for that uh, wonderful question. Uh, for me, uh, not just uh, in, uh, in athlete, but in general, yung pagiging, uh, having that uh, sensible masculinity is nasa puso ng tao. Kasi naniniwala ako na if you look deep inside uh, dun sa pagkatao or dun sa personality ng tao, magkakaroon tayo ng unity. Uh, maiintindihan natin as long as we know how to, to support yung differences po. Uh, and yung masculinity kasi, it shows no gender for me. And I believe na I, as an individual, I, so, uh, I stand for equality. Thank you. There you have it. That's Mr. Bulacan, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have Mr. Quezon City. Wow. Mr. Quezon City, your fans are still alive, miraculously. And on that note, do you have any words for those people shouting for you? Maraming salamat, mamaya. Mayroon kayong Jollibee pag nanalo ako. That sounds really yum. <laughs> With that being said, you may now pick a question from the bowl. The question is, what steps can we take to ensure gender equality becomes a reality in all aspects of life? including professional sports. Can I read it again? Would you like me to read it for you? Once again, the question is, what, step, what steps can we take to ensure gender equality becomes a reality in all spec aspects of life? including professional sports. The first step we should do is respect at athletes, respect different type of athletes that... <sighs> respect... Respect... 
respect different type of athletes and diverse diverse athletes we should support female sports to have to bring to give to give them the same amount of money that men earn in sports not just in real life we should support women and we should and we should start creating a world where equality is the standard and that's all thank you thank you mr kazon city up next we have mr laguna he is carl nico santiago good evening carl are you ready okay pick your question from the ball The question for tonight is, what are some effective ways to promote diversity and inclusion in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds? Once again, what are some effective ways to promote diversity and inclusion in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds? Hi, good evening. There are a lot of ways on how we can promote pro inclusivity and diversity. And some of which are implementation of anti-discrimination policies, promoting diverse leadership, and actively recruiting from underrepresented communities. And through this, we can lessen complexity and find beauty in diversity. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Laguna, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, let's have Mr. Pangasinan. He is PJ Rosario. Good evening, brother. The question is, limitless potential is a core principle of this pageant. How do you envision utilizing your potential to make a lasting impact in your community? I would utilize my potential by creating educational program and um, mentoring younger individuals. Um, seek influence for um, uh, policy changes and um, uh, creating a um, program for uh, underprivileged students. Yeah, thank you. Beautifully said, Mr. Pangasinan. Thank you for that. And on that note, let's invite here on stage and on the ramp, Mr. San Pascual Batangas. Chovi, how are you feeling tonight? I feel uh, excited and nervous at the same time. I know that you can do it, brother. Go ahead, take your question from the bowl. Your question for tonight is, education is a powerful tool for personal growth and societal progress. How would you advocate for equal access to education particularly for marginalized communities. Once again, education is a powerful tool for personal growth and societal progress. How would you advocate for equal access to education, particularly for marginalized communities? Thank you for that question. I believe some institution has the program for free access education, but what lacks is the commitment and the implementation. So I can be an advocate of free access education by going to marginalized community, be with them physically, and spread awareness that we have a law of uh, free education access of state university. Together we can create a positive impact in our, in our society and build a brighter future for next generation. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. Up next, let's have Mr. Olongapo City. 
He is Clarence Joy Abweg. Good evening. This question is, I'm sorry, in the realm of current events, what global issue do you believe requires immediate attention and what steps would you take to address it? First and foremost, as an engineering student, it is one of our priorities is the safety and security of our clans. Because for us, every single lives do matter just like the lives of every innocent and collateral to, from the bloody war between the Israelis and Palestinians. So I will use my voice to encourage each and every one of you to let us be united and let us use our voice to call out the authority to use their power to lessen the conflict and to save the children, the family, the innocent people and to give them a greater life that they deserve. Thank you. That's Mr. Olongapo City, everybody. Now let's have Mr. Bungabon. He is Patrick Leonard Mendoza. Before you open it, I just want to congratulate you for making it this far. You may now open your question. The question for you is, in the age of social media, how would you responsibly utilize these platforms to spread awareness about the issues you are most passionate about? Good evening, everyone. I can see myself utilizing myself as a leader because and what uh, I'm passionate about. Because back in my hometown, I have fulfilled my advocacy to spread awareness to my fellow youth to give awareness and education about the importance of physical education because physical inactivity has been identified as the fourth leading risk factor for death globally. So I want them to inspire to have a better life and become a better person to, uh, to showcase their limitless potential. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bongabon. Now let's have Mr. San Jose del Monte Bulacan. He is Lawrence Bengua. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, very nervous, but at the same time, excited. Your question eagerly awaits you. Okay, your question for tonight is... How would you define limitless potential and how can individuals tap into theirs? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how to define a limitless potential is it starts to yourself and it starts how you think. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell to every one of you that if no one is believing you, believe in yourself. And if no one is, wants to invest in you, invest in yourself. And there will come a day that other person have no choice but to really be you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are your thoughts on maintaining genuine human connections in a digital world? Once again, with the rise of technology, what are your thoughts on maintaining genuine human connections in a digital world? We all know that technology has posed a positive impact to our society and it can uh, 
expose economic growth to our nation in general. But however, I believe genuine connections with human should always prevail. We should use technology as a tool, not a substitute to human connections, to maintaining deeper relationship with each other. I believe this is the key to everyone to deeply understand each other with the recent events going on in our world. And so I believe love and connection with each other would always prevail for us to unite, to live a better world in this world. Thank you. That's San Juan Manuel Bulacan for you, everybody. And now let's have Mr. Agusan Del Norte. Good evening. Do you have any words for your supporters, for your family and friends before you start? Nagpapasalamat lang po sa lahat ng mga sumuporta. Indeed. Now, go ahead and pick your question from the bowl. In your opinion, what is the significance of media literacy in today's information age? Once again, in your opinion, what is the significance of media literacy in today's information age? Maraming salamat po. Para sa akin, ngayon, ang social media nagagamit sa mga fake news na kung saan uh, ang ating mga kabataan is uh, namulat sa mga fake news na nababasa nila sa social media. So, for me, I think kailangan nating limitahan like sa ating mga magulang. Tingnan natin po ang ating mga, mga anak kasi kailangan po natin silang subaybayan sa lahat po ng uh, klase ng social media na nakakasira sa kanilang pag-iisip. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Moving on, we will have the representative for the Filipino community of UAE. He is Raed El Zain. Good evening. How are you feeling tonight, gentlemen? I'm actually excited to compete against such great competitors. It's a new experience for me. That's so great. Your question eagerly awaits you in that ball. Choose wisely. <laughs> Mental health is often overlooked, but it is a critical aspect of overall well-being. How would you promote mental health awareness among your peers? Thank you. I believe the best way to promote mental health awareness is simply by showing how detrimental it is to a human's health. Not expressing your emotions, keeping it all bottled up, just makes the physical, mental, and emotional state of a person go down. It makes them fall into a deep, deep pit of depression. And I believe I can just show that, I can promote and raise awareness about this issue by simply showing how detrimental it is to humans. Because if people found out how dangerous it is and how crucial this issue is, they would take action in it. And they would focus on promoting and raising awareness about this issue. And if we do this, I truly believe eventually we can address every mental health. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And inviting our last finalist for this evening, Mr. Mandaluyong City, Gerald Castaneda. Are you ready for your question? Yes, I'm ready. But also, I want to thank to my supporters, my family, because this is my first time to have supporters on my previous, on my international budget. You know. That's right, and you are last but not least. Here goes your question. Your question for tonight is, one's physical appearance often plays a role in pageants. How would you redefine beauty standards and promote body positivity among men and women? Once again, one's physical appearance often plays a role in pageants. 
How would you redefine beauty standards and promote body positivity among men and women? For me, joining male pageant is not just all about showing our physical appearance. Being masculinity is you need to have a God-fearing and also kindness in heart and respect because giving respect is, is always follow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mandaluyong City. And if you couldn't believe it, that concludes our question and answer portion Give for our for Mr. Grand Philippines 2023. That's correct. Give it up for all the candidates who have